and welcome to another weekly vlog. It has been a hot minute since I have picked up the camera and spoken to you all. I had my um, selection test this weekend. It was hard guys and I don't think I'll be doing the selection tests next year and that's not because I think I'm going to get onto the course, that's just because I am fully traumatised by that experience. We had to sign an NDA so I can't speak much about it. To be honest, I actually preferred being at home. I could just stay in my little bubble and stay cool, calm and collected, you know? So that was nice, didn't have to travel anywhere. To be honest, I did find the test quite hard, but I don't want to put you all off. It's just like, for me, and knowing my abilities, and I'm just not very good at like, mathematical thinking anyway. I just don't think I'm going to sit at the top of the group. It's not like a pass or fail and then you get the interview. You need to be in the top however many percentile. I'm not too sure what percentile that is, but yeah. That was my experience of the test. I was just really tired and editing and like filming and stuff would have just distracted me. And there were times where I was like, oh, I wish I could just like pick up the camera and talk to my friends. It really does help speaking through things. This is like a therapeutic space for me. It's like a journal entry in a way. So that's why you haven't seen this egghead in a while. I hit 1K on Instagram which is crazy. This reel has hit 100k. Like, I'm very confused, but also very grateful. So if you're new here and you found me off of my Instagram, then hey, hello, my name is Sharon and I'm an assistant psychologist currently working in a split post between a stroke psychology service and a dementia and frailty service but I'm mainly focused in like memory assessments on that side so it's very kind of like neuropsychology based and I would love to be a clinical psychologist when I grow up. I did apply for the declin side this year, I share my journey online, my vlogs are mainly like lifestyle bits but you know here I am doing my thing so I actually have got work now for the first time in like two weeks because I was off sick because of COVID. I'm better now, thank God. Um, but then I had my week off of annual leave and so it's been a while since I've had to hop onto my laptop and actually do some work. <laughs> I actually feel like I have forgotten how to vlog. I haven't done much today, guys. Honestly, I was working and it was quite a busy day just catching up with emails and things. Then after work, we had a meeting for the psychology platform because we're hosting our first event and we were meeting all of our lovely trainees who are helping us out. I don't know whether some of you guys joined in on that event. If you did, comment down below. I'd love to hear about how you found it and whether you have any feedback for us. The plan for the rest of the evening is to jump in the shower. It's like eight o'clock now, so it is fairly late. I need to edit a video for Wednesday and then hopefully I'll have some time to chill afterwards. <music> It is Tuesday today and I'm actually going into work because they've ordered me a very exciting present and I need to go and pick it up. I thought this morning I would show you guys my first impression <laughs> of this mascara which is like everywhere. It's a sky high Maybelline mascara. Let's see how this goes. Because the brush is so flexible, it's quite messy actually. Can you guys see? <laughs> 
that is eyeliner. I mean, yeah, it is pretty good. But to be honest, I don't think it's that different to this mascara. This is very much like lengthening and separating. Let me do the other eye and we can see how it looks together. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I personally don't think it's actually that good. So here's my outfit for today. I've just got on this black knitted turtleneck, black cardigan, and then these trousers with like flared, can you see? <laughs> flared legs and flared legs? Yeah, flared trousers. And it's super warm, super cozy. I've got some tights underneath because it's really chilly in my office. So I'm gonna head off to work now. I'm really excited for the drive actually to like put on some music and just vibe all the way into work. So let's go. Hello everyone, so I finished work and oh my gosh, it was such a busy day. I had an assessment that lasted two hours, which is just mad. So I'm gonna head home now and hopefully my mum has made dinner because I'm honestly starving. <laughs> no biting. Yes. Yes. I've just put on a pot of pasta and I'm going to jump in the shower while that's boiling and cooking because guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, no. I am so tired. Last night I didn't sleep well at all. We've got the mentor Q&A tomorrow, so we've got quite a few things to sort out for that. And it's like a bit nerve wracking because it is our first event and we do want it to go well, but there's gonna be some mistakes. There's gonna be some mishaps because it is our first event, so. <laughs> Morning everyone. Can you see my lovely gray hair? It's just some dry shampoo. It actually looks like I've got gray hair. I wouldn't be too mad if I look like this as a grandma. Do you know what I mean? It is currently 8 o'clock and I really want to film a reel. Tonight we've got our event. Overall I'm really excited, we sold out both events. So that is 400 tickets in total, all for free. That is 400 people that were helping with their journey to becoming a psychologist, which is incredible. I'm just a bit nervous because we've never done it before and it's quite difficult when we're used to being told what to do as assistant psychologists or like if there's a problem then we can escalate it but now we we are the escalate like we can't just say like oh i'll speak to my manager like we we are the managers is it just my mom who has like billions of umbrellas and she just she doesn't want to get rid of them like we've got them all hanging around by our front door so we don't forget them but it's just like we don't need this many umbrellas it's a joke I don't want to alarm anyone, but I've heard back from Essex and <sighs> I'm really nervous just because with Essex, you don't have to do a test or anything, you just go straight to interviews. So this email is going to tell me whether I've been rejected or whether I need to prepare for an interview, which is just crazy to me. So I'm going to open the email now. Bloody hell, it's a long one. Right. Okay. Okay. So I've been put on the reserve list for an interview, which I didn't even realize was a thing. I don't know how many people are on the reserve list, so I might not even get called to an interview, but I guess I'll prepare as if I'm I'm gonna have to do it. I don't know. And I mean, for my first year applying, I've been put on the reserve list for an interview, so that's not bad. Like, I'm proud of myself. I guess they read my application and they like it. So that's always good. Okay. Okay, 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 I'm happy. Um... Okay, right, I need to get back to work, so I'll chat to you guys later. I think I'm just a bit confused. I didn't even realise there was a reserve list for the interviews. I thought it was just for the actual places, but I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I need to go back to work, so I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Hello, everyone. So it's been a while since I last spoke to you. It's almost 7 o'clock now, which means... I'm preparing for the Q&A, and I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling quite nervous. got both of my laptops, just in case. <laughs> This is the problem because we're the ones hosting it. So if anything goes wrong, like we have to resolve it and 
I think I mentioned this before, but our, both our internets are a bit like dodgy. So just hopefully that is fine. I'm gonna get myself some water and hopefully it'll be okay, guys. Fingers crossed, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes after. Ah, we did it. Oh my gosh, guys, it went so well. I'm really happy and we've already got some responses from the little survey that we sent everyone and it's, oh, I was so nervous before as you guys could probably tell and it went really smoothly. And our trainees were bloody amazing and it's just so nice to have a really helpful, supportive kind of community around the psychology platform. I'm just proud that we came together as two aspiring psychologists, like bear in mind we have, we're not qualified, we just have this dream and this kind of desire to broaden the horizons of aspiring psychologists, especially those who are from a BAME background or a lower income background where they can't pay for these paid mentoring schemes. So I'm just really happy that we can do our bit to kind of improve and um, increase equity within the profession. Yeah, it just, it warms my heart to know that I've helped quite a few people tonight. So yeah, if you guys haven't, then please head over to our Instagram. It's the psychology platform and um, we will hopefully be having events fairly regularly, hopefully every month if we can pull it off. But it is a lot of work, especially during application season. So yeah, I'm gonna shut everything off and go to bed. Good morning everyone, it's Friday today and I'm gassed, I'm here for it. Because we had those two Q&As back to back pretty much, so we had one on Wednesday and then one last night, I am just very tired. Prior to that we were preparing for our selection test, so it's really been non-stop for the both of us and so I'm just tired and I'm feeling it this morning. What I'm going to do is take a break this weekend then we're going to get back to like preparing for the interviews, but I was just thinking about this this morning and how like the Declan Sci application process is a marathon. Like, it's such a long process. When you think about it, you submit your application in November, and prior to that, you're probably preparing like two months before and writing it. So you're starting in what, September? And then I start preparing for the test in December. And then you find out about interviews, and then you're preparing for interviews, and that can go up until March. So how many months is that? Like if we go September, October, November, December, January, February, March, that's seven months. I would love to know what my cortisol levels were like for the whole process because that is chronic stress. Those are just some of my thoughts that like, we really need to prioritize our self care in this whole process because it's a seven month long thing. And that's a very long time. I just feel like it is nonstop and I'm tired, I'm really tired. I'm going to open up my little Zara package. Ugh. I love how they use paper tape rather than like plastic tape because firstly, save the environment, but also it's a lot easier to open. It looks so bougie. This is the second time that I've ever in my life ordered from Zara, so it's very special when it comes in a package like this. Ah! Oh, I love it. So the first thing I got was this gray cropped, but on me, it's not gonna be very cropped. And I also got this cream crop jumper, but again, it will be probably normal size on me. It feels very good quality, which will be really cute. Let me try it on quickly. I love it. I think that is such a nice color. So it is like an off-white kind of color. It's nice and thick, really nice and soft actually. And it's the perfect length for me, it's like, cropped but not too cropped i think it's actually meant to be like a very cropped job like probably up to here but for me petite girls definitely get this 10 out of 10 recommend and then this is just a very simple cardigan sleeves obviously a bit too long i think this is a really nice length and i think 
even like you know how people are wearing these kind of tops without anything on underneath and just wearing it kind of like as a top i think that would look quite cute as well i was thinking to use this more for work and just have this as like a throw on cardigan but feeling the buttons i don't think you're meant to undo this it's just a nice little cardigan quite a chunky knit which i like i think that's really cute I'm really happy and I think both of those were like £15 each which for Zara knitwear is fantastic. I don't even mind spending money on knitwear like I don't mind spending £40 because I know I'll wear it again and again year after year but when you can find it for £15 and it is such good quality like I am down. I absolutely love it. Here I am on Saturday evening finishing off the editing for the vlog that you're watching now. And of course, I've realised I didn't end the frickin' vlog story of my life. I've just not been with it in terms of vlogging. I need to get back into the groove of things. Hopefully next week will be better. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Give it a like if you liked it and subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.